Right, all right, all right. Yasharel, Islam. I self love master. I self love I'm a mama. Big, big mama, the big, big G, the big G, the big G mama. The circle seven. All the angles that surround the mama, the angels that surround mama, Islam. To the El Bay Day, Alan Ali, and even the Pasha. Give thanks and shout out to everybody who even want to be Christian, who even want to be so-called Jews. Shout out to even to the Muslims. Shout out to everybody worldwide. 13 unconditional love because we are the 13th tribe at North America to salute you, to welcome you back home. Islam to all the Aborigines, the indigenous people. To all those who call themselves Aborigine, may you be standing upright and in the forefront when this war is fledged and head on because the war is on, because the great meeting is on and the official meeting has always been on. But the great meeting is infinite and it will never stop. So in this moment in time, we are glad to see the U.S. dot fall. It's not the fall of America. It's the fall of the U.S. dot corporation. That's what Elijah Muhammad meant to say the fall of the U.S. dot corporation and not the black man of America, but the Moorish man of America. So let's get this meeting started right. And let's honor our ancestors, the great ones and the great ones only who we invite. Let's rise with five on the left, two on the right. O oh Allah, and when we say Allah, we mean truth. O oh Allah, the father, or the fat her, or the resin, or the milk of the universe, or the husbandman, the carer of the garden of the universe, the garden of the cosmos. Let's start again. We gotta make things clear more. We gotta make things clear Mo, so the people don't get lost and they know that we all one. O oh Allah. Father of the universe, Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Law is my protector, my guide, and my salvation, by night and by day, through his holy prophet, noble Drew Ali, Yasha, Islam. Give great honors and thanks to noble Drew Ali, Charles Mosley Bay, Marcus Garvey, the forerunner, and all those who assisted in freeing us from captivity on our own land. Let's go ahead and go into chapter 25 in the Circle 7 Quran. And let's read about our holy covenant. Literally, the great rainbow that you see in the sky that reminds us of our love to each other and not being at war with each other, but our love to each other. Literally, the right alignment of the chakras in all their colors coming in a circle and like a church in a circumference with pi in the middle. It's a 3.14, Islam. Now let us read the Holy Covenant of the Asiatic Nation. Ye are the children of one father provided by for his care. And the breast of one mother hath given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brothers, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that bindeth you to love and unity, and prefer not a stranger before thine own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole race and his care be continued to you all in your love to each other. The holy covenant or the holy ark of the earth. This is the divine reflection that we see from our holy son that is given to us in earth that is the reflection of Earth in full alignment with the seven major planets, the seven major chakras, the seven continents, even the seven deadly sins, the circle seven. Our Saba, 
our Aboriginal indigenous culture that was here at the Americas before it fled anywhere on the east side. It was only given onto the east to come right back to the west because as the sun sets in the west, it once again shall rise in the west in the second coming. This is the true nature that is intrinsic within me and you, and it shall be seen in the world. Islam. Now let's go to our holy prophet, the great one, the Ali, the one who was exalted amongst us. And let's read his holy and divine letter from the Moorish Science Temple of America. From the home office, 3603. Indiana Avenue, Noble Jewel Ali, founder, Chicago, Illinois, Republic Territory, January 18th, 1929, 10 days after his solar return day. 10 in Sabian culture or Moorish culture or Aboriginal indigenous culture means a new and humble beginning. To be proclaimed in every meeting, dear brother, Islam, I am glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There is a host of jealousy about me in the movement now by the same people of our side of the nation that claim that it was only a joke and unreal. But now, since they have found out from the government officials of the nations of the earth, that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as an American citizen. They are working every scheme that they can to disqualify me so that they themselves may take charge of the situation. I have notified all these things to you long ago in the past. It is through the faithful Moors that contribute to the movement and uplifting funds. The ones that paid their divine respect to me and the movement will be remembered. That is why I'm calling upon all faithful Moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet and your divine Moorish movement. I need finance and I need it bad. Never before have I needed finance as badly as I do at present that I may shove aside the discord that is facing the nation. It all comes through jealousy because of my fame and nobility. The nations of the earth of the world will not recognize the movement without me, the prophet, being the head. It has been proven by my work in which I have performed in the last few months because I was at the governor's inauguration to represent the Moorish divine and national movement and I will be at the inauguration of President Hoover for the same cause. My prophet, my holy and divine prophet who I love with all my heart, Noble Drew Ali. I mean. Now, with that being said, before we get started on our topic on this grand evening and this grand day, which will be about the 13 colonies and the modern hybrid European influence within our nation after being taught by us, none other than the Moors, the great Moors, the ones who realized the self-realization itself, who realized to realize, to realize, to realize, realize. The Aboriginal, the original man himself, the original man being man, woman, and child. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? No, the Trinity, all three. First, you had to be a child. Then you mature and become an adult. You have three different maturity stages in that region. A baby, a teenager, and an adult. That's the holy trinity of the age of the Moors. It's everybody's law. Everybody's constitution. Everybody's truth. This is more. This is why we say more, because we bring more to the table, more than what you bargained for, more than what you asked for, more than what you even knew. More. This is why 
you have America, and then you have Mexico. Why is an X there where an R should be? Why is an X there where an R should be? Because America is a mother or a feminine principle. Am I wrong, my people that speak Spanish? And then Mexico or Mariko is what it really was called. Mariko is the masculine principle. So you had the higher America and then lower America. What no Brazil and no Puerto Rico, 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 Rico. Before it was a Puerto Rico, it was a Mexico, a Mariko. You don't get what I'm saying. It was only Mexico. And this was the silver standard. The silver standard was in the lower Americas. The higher standard was the gold at the North Americas. The silver and the gold working together at the Americas. America, a Mexico, or Mariko. Just to make things clear, this is all of our inheritance. The land, period. Before modern hybrid European influence. You have to know this. You have to get this because if you never do, we're going to continue to go through the same cycle of colonization, not only of our land, but our complete mindset. This is the truth and the divine truth of the higher and lower self of the land. Same thing in your modern so-called Africa a higher Africa and a lower Africa. Am I wrong? Now, with that being said, this is the grand meeting or the great meeting or the great earthquakes all over again. This time, the great earthquakes is coming to combine the lands again. And everything that is not clean on the land and not pure blood of the land must be exiled. The great earthquakes happened before, the great earthquakes shall happen again. Now we are at the Western Hemisphere, right? We all know this, right? We are at the North Gate of the Western Hemisphere. Hmm. Why do they call it the North Gate? And with this being said, we're going to lead into our topic. Why do they call it the North Gate in Freemasonry? Because North America is called the North Gate because there was no modern hybrid Europeans at America pre-Columbian. So the gates that we opened up at North America that we called the North Gate was the ports on the east for the modern hybrid European who was seeking a new home. Go figure. We opened up these ports for them. They weren't already there and then opened up ports for us in some damn slave ships. That's a goddamn lie. And if anybody had slaves first, it was a dark skin person, okay? This is why they so upset. This is why they so enraged and want to enslave you in every angle and every way because they were enslaved first. Now, these were our subjects. All these modern hybrid Europeans on the land know this truth that they were enslaved subjects. Not free white people, but white subjects. All Freemasons. All Freemasons because of our teachings. Not because George Washington just created and he's the four, one of the forefathers of the land and free. No. no, he's not a forefather of the land. He's not a forefather, not even of the U.S. corporation company. He's not even a father of anything. Now, with that being said, let's get into our topic. 
John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin. Okay, three. Look at these numbers. 13 colonies that we gave to them. And before we get into the trinity of the entrusted European sons, let's talk about the 13 colonies and the in-depthness of why that number was even chosen. We gave these pale skin, good for nothing, criminal ass, traitor ass, trickster, deceptive ass, hybrid modern Europeans, 13 territories mm -hmm. within our land known as North America. Within these 13 colonies, there was a fez. But I but we we are everybody out there talking about what no Islam and what no what no more stuff here in, in, in early in stop. You really need to stop because you really need to know what happened to know what's going on to know what to do. It's how they ruling you in the first place. What do you mean none of this stuff was here? It's how you're being ruled. You just got to put it in its proper context and its proper birthright in order to see through the deception, the Beetlejuice. Now, let's look. There was a fez given to each 13 colony, right? What were the 13 colonies? Because we didn't let they as get beyond that. And go to Khalifa territory and so-called Idaho and Chicago. No, 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 no. You can't go that far yet. We're going to keep your ass right here at these ports. Because we don't know what y'all got planned or what you're going to do. But we're going to put you on game. And we're going to civilize you. They didn't civilize us. We civilized them. Through our culture. From our culture. From the earth. That means from every culture on earth has a little bit of our bloodline birthright memory. Every part of earth. That's why more say, oh, that's my culture too. That's not nothing to disrespect. That's an embracement of who I am. Buddha, Con Confucius, Muhammad, whoever. So it will be backwards of me to disrespect these storylines of these characters who were really all built up to build the one you me and you you'd be a fool to disrespect and not dive deep into the characterism and the characterization of david daul solomon suleiman all these names were already casted over here at america before your east side what you call africa it was always West, and the West side is the best side. That's why Tupac kept saying West side, and he was from the East. Tupac had more science in his soul that was being released than he had just regular knowledge. He embraced the wisdom of every part of his Moorish culture. He just couldn't say too much. This is why modern-day Freemasons or masonry or dark-skinned people who practice this behind closed doors, they learn everything about so-called Indian culture, but they don't know that it's related to Moorish culture because it's one and the same. So they have the backdrop. That's why a lot of your grandmothers and grandfathers were masons and you didn't even know it. Because they always say, oh, that baby got that Indian hair because they was learning about Indian culture. But that's really Aboriginal indigenous culture. They just didn't know it. Know it to say it. Sounded and looked good with an Indian name on it when it's just a brand name. Right. Because just like black is a brand name. They take you from the 501, the 501 C3 church into the Masonic temple. And they give you a different degree, but it's not everything that you need and everything that you are and everything that I am. It's just a next level up. It's another slavery. Because the Freemasonry that we gave to the hybrid European is only 33 degrees, the third degree, the three degrees. That's all they have. 
So in return, they gave you a club with all that they had, which was only a little tidbit. Now, you see that we are the teachers of everything divine and everything holy and even of everything that's lower. Because we taught them. So you had 13 fezes for 13 colonies. A different fez for each colony. Their fezes had markings on them. Some were ambassadors. Some were quasi-diplomats. Some were generals and such. Why? Because we were teaching them government. What is government? How to govern your mindset on the land. We taught them this. And this is why they have fake government today to control you. That's not what we taught them. They took it into their own hands and changed the situation. So we taught them government. Those are the three or the third or the 33rd degrees. Once you reach the highest degree of that, that's government. Now, every Fez had a different fusion of wording of whether Arabic or Hebraic. See how those two names sound the same? It was either Islamic or Ishmael. It was either Allahu Akbar or Yahuwah Ikad. You see, nothing is separated. It's all together. Just like your brain has a left and a right brain, same thing with the land, same thing with the people. Because we're all one in one body of one nation. It's really only one nation. Really, really and truly, it's only one nation. So of course the Moors gave these hybrid Europeans their fezes and we gave it to them with their tassel stuck on the left side. Why? Well, they can't venture over to the right side because they didn't come right. They came left because they left from our brothers and sisters, the brutish Moors from England over here. And we accepted them. Go figure. Free and accepted Masons. This is who they are. Not you to them, them to us. We accepted them as free men. They won't tell you this. They won't tell you that the whole shebang bang boogie is from a nigga that looked like me in the first place to say, hey, you know, I approve. I think you'll be all right here. I'll make you free. Matter of fact, I'll make you one of my slaves and my subjects. You want a job? This was us first. Now, with that being said, the Islam and the Yahudism or the Habasha mindset is one and the same. Your brother who crossed the river to get here and your brother who was already here, we just got different name, tribal names. Ain't that something? But we one in the same. So, and I dare anybody to challenge me on this. This is immemorial. This is straight ancestors. No bullshit. For us to get the story right. Because if we had it right and we really knew what we was doing, we would be on our feet and going and walking and running. Instead of sitting and talking about who we can go get and what can be done when it already can be done and has been. Now, let's look at this. We have the Hebrew language, so-called Hebrew. Look at that word, Hebrew. Moses opened up the river to walk over to America. 
Moses with the water. He had to split the water with the sun energy from the earth being planted with his feet. Now, then you have Arabic. Ar Arab don't mean nothing but noble. Jew don't mean nothing but noble. You see the comparison of the people who have the same knowledge, who look the same, but come from different territories, AKA tribes. That's why the tribe could never be the whole nation because we were broken up into different pieces of the whole earth nation itself. And if you're not a sovereign to the earth nation, then you don't respect the most highs and you don't respect the ancestors and you don't know the whole reason why this Bible Torah and Quran was misrepresented in the first place. You see how we keep running around in circles and the answer is just right there. You see how we keep running around in circles and nature is even reminding us, hey, it's kind of like right there with you. They couldn't do it without these words. And you won't be able to either because you created them and you have to close the seal on these words. Because you Moors, you Aborigines, you indigenous Americans. You are the real Amaru's. Now, look. We gave them this. And they turned around and gave us the breadcrumbs that we gave them, not in love, but in respite. They turned around and gave us the same knowledge that we gave them distorted and dirtied up. So we would never find our way back to the mountaintop or Muhammad's mountain. Oh. Why you got these Freemasons talking about Muhammad's mountain, the all seeing eye at America, not over there on the east side. Why they fez, why they fez say Mecca all across it and they not in Iraq or Jordan or nowhere near Saudi Arabia. Because they was over here being taught over here from Hebrew, which is the fire language. But they don't tell you that Arabic is the water language. The fire and the water combined together is the 12 tribes of Judah coming together to be the 13th one, the Christ, in order to reclaim the land again. You don't hear me. They gave you all these things. Why do you think they gave the so-called black slaves the Bible? We got to give it to you so you don't go find it. Because you people are searchers. You're researchers. You're reclaimers. You're reprogrammers. You know how to reprogram yourself. Out of this matrix. So we're going to give it to you. So you never go looking for yourself. You get it? Now you see what this Bible is all about. And why it was given. In a different version. In the first place. Now. You got the fire language. And the water language coming together. To form the all-seeing eye, the great power, right? They know this. They know that 13 and the original banner that we gave them had 13 stars on it. Why they don't show you this? Why they don't tell you that the whole reason that they tasked was pinned down on the left side is because they come in from a foreign territory, and that banner belongs on that side with the real American glory, the five-pointed star, green with a red background. Old glory, the real old glory. The first one we gave them had 13 stars with the red, white, and blue. This is the Sirius constellation. That's why we say 13 because this is where all true Aboriginal dark skinned people come from with this knowledge. They come from Sirius. Because in the Sirius constellation is a circle, just like your zodiac, your horoscope. And in the middle of that horoscope is a dark, dark, triple black, dark sun. That's your Christ. 
Now, they worship this. Everything I'm talking about, they worship in order to stay in power. They worship in order to stay in power. They have a worship of our knowledge that we constantly reject and say that it's a lie and say that this Bible and this Quran and Torah and got nothing to do with us when it got everything to do with us because we was the ones who gave it in the first place. Then on top of that, we got all this commission or so-called Egyptian artifacts that they stole from here at the West, took over to the East, stole again from the East just to bring it back over here in the museum and put it back in your face. You don't you still don't get it. Why can I go here in America to learn about Egypt? Why is there a Memphis in so-called Egypt over there? But it's a Memphis, Tennessee over here. Why is it a Cairo in Illinois and it's a Cairo in Egypt over there? Because it's the same thing. The real power is right here and always has been. So what you call so-called Egyptian is really Islamic. What you call Mayat is really Islamic. What you call Pata is really Islamic. It's just the wording. That's it. So then what is Islam? Islam is peace. Don't you get peace from learning about the true reflection of yourself? Not what they taught you? Tell me I'm lying. So stop looking at it as a dogma system and start looking at it as a peace system, as in piecing yourself together, okay? Damn, I go look at that stuff and I can piece myself together. That's Islam. This is why more say Islam. Because you're piecing yourself together with more peace, more pieces to the puzzle. Oh, but you don't like this more shit. All oh, them Moors over there, they don't know what they're talking about, huh? All oh, them Moors, them Moors, them Moors, huh? Okay. But we gave these niggas a fez that gave you a fez that got stuck on the left side. And you think that's for you. You think a stuck tassel is for you. Not knowing it's supposed to be free. Why are you not swinging and, 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 and roaming the world freely? Why are you looking to roam around the world and devour and conquer who you can? That's not us. That's not us. We swing freely and we let everybody else be free. Matter of fact, we didn't feel right unless everybody else around us was free. This is more. This is a more and this is a morica. The land of the love, the rich love, the land of the Moors, Amor, Amor, Amor. This is why the X was taken out of Merico, because the modern hybrid European couldn't pronounce R how you supposed to pronounce R. Mar, R, Hybrid European couldn't do that, so we just said, "Hey, say R." Rika, Rick, Rick, Rick and them. Yeah, just say Rick. This is how they got all their names. Rick, John, Ben. They got all these names from Hebrew and Arabic and then broke it down. John and Smith and Rick and Bill. When it's really John is Johan. Rick is Ricardo. Talk to me. Rich. The land of the rich. The land of the rich Moors like Mansa Musa, who was here in California. Who spread the gold all over the land. Matter of fact, he was so free, he gave away gold. He didn't have to buy anything, he gave it to you. Real money. So they took these 13 numbers and the number 13 and they demonized it in an evil way. Because daemon is not an evil word, but they demonized it in an evil way. And they put on the back of their paper dollar fiat. 
all of your stuff. Now let's go into the next 13 and why the fez is so important and how we gave them their fezes in the first place. How do you know I'm telling the truth? How do you know I'm not lying about this 13 fezes and these 13 colonies and these 13 Freemason territories? Because this was the 13 callings. The 13 callings. They said, hey, hey, you Moors over there. We don't like these brutish Moors over here. They're too strict. They don't let us be rapists and, and, and criminals and 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 all this other oh I didn't mean to say that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What I meant to say was uh we lying on these brutish moors saying that they did us like that so y'all can go to war. But anyway, we need your help, Americans, Amarukans. Can you help us from your dark skinned brother over here in Europe and then let us come over there with y'all and stay over there with y'all in y'all house? And we had so much love and we said, Yeah, come on, baby. Because they these are our children. Modern hybrid European. We say, yeah, come on, babies. Come on. They treating y'all wrong? Yeah, we had we had some we had some suspicion about them. And this is how we went to war with our nobilities. The European nobility, which is not pale skin, is dark skin in the first place. And the Amarukan, the American, the Moor. Right? So they said, come on, come on over here with us. Okay. You gonna be good? Yeah, we'll be all right. Mind you, our brutal, our brutish more is not telling us that we getting a bunch of dope heads and rapists and child molesters. They didn't tell us that because we was at war at the time until we made different treaties. It wasn't until they got here till we was like, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Who did we let over here? Who? Wait a minute. What happened? Right. And slowly but surely, they started coming up on the come up that we gave them called Freemasonry. Free and accepted Masons. This is the whole reason why we called them European sons and daughters because they're our children. European sons and European daughters. Why? Because Ma only means mother. And when you look at, even in modern day, when you look up what the initials are for Morocco, whether it's at America or at the kingdom over there in so-called Africa, it's Ma. So Ma son, Moroccan son. And Moroccan is only indicative of things that are from the higher of the heavens or the above or the wise and intelligent, the noble ones. You see it's why they wanted to call themselves Shriners and nobles, but they're not the true nobles. They don't have no real nobility, and that's with all due respect. They have appointed nobility. And this was what I wanted to speak about with John Adams, Benjamin Banneker, I mean, uh, Benjamin Franklin, right? Thomas Jefferson and so-called George Washington. Now let's make him an example before we get into our three once again. Because George Washington is a very important example of how this nation fell from a great republic to an ugly democracy. Now George Washington was changed, has changed his name from Adam Weissop, listen, first he was Adam Weissop. Then he started being influenced by our indigenous culture and Freemasonry. And he changed his name to George Washita, not Washington. It was Washita. They changed it to Washington on their own discretion. We invited him into our tribe into our knowledge into our wisdom and we appointed him as a president over our caucasoid subjects in order to govern them and to help them govern themselves better the union state society 
or the United States of America is a whole club and Mr. Washita or Mr. Weissop was appointed by us in order to gatekeep from the North Gate his own people. Right? Mind you, I said he wasn't elected. None of your modern day presidents are elected by anybody. They're always appointed by people behind curtains and closed doors. There is no real election. It never was. He was always appointed and they're always appointed. They're not elects. They're not elite because they're not the real elites. We are, you are, I am. So the reason why you know he was such a slave as I described is because Mr. George Washita wrote a letter to the Sultan of Morocco, the prince here at America, the prince here at America, the prince here in America, at America, Morocco, this Morocco, the empire. He said, hey, I can't keep up with the taxes. Y'all got so much silver and gold. We don't know how we are gonna repay y'all, but I promise that one day we will. This is George Washington. So how was he the lead, the father of Freemasonry and the founding forefather of America and all this bullshit when he crying to a nigga like me saying that he can't keep up with the payments, rent. He can't keep up with rent. And they have us all in apartments apart from our land today paying rent, okay? You don't see this diaspora? You don't see what really happened? And he cut down the cherry tree, the Moorish flag that was already flying here before your U.S. banner. That's the cherry tree. Huh? Right? Wasn't no physical tree that he was chopping down. It was your head. We wore our ancient sacred geometry and our symbols being the rulers of this land. And they had the nerve to chop our flag and our heads off. Ain't that something? And we gave them everything. Ain't that something? That's why your five-pointed star upside down is considered evil. Because once you cut the head off, it's like a fallen angel or a fallen being that fell on his head. Same story of Hiram Abiff in your, in your uh, Masonic temples. The Hiram Abiff they're talking about is you the lost moor at his land of the lost, his land. And they do the whole Hiram Abiff and everything behind closed doors in a three-step process. Everything in threes. You just add the one to it. Add yourself to it and it's the 13, right? So they keep it away from you, but they practice it in secret. They all about series. The Sirius Star Constellation, Taurus, Betelgeuse, and everything that come with it. Sirius A, B, X, all of it. They have to be in order to rule your mind, to govern your mind. They have to be in order for them to direct the cosmos and read the astrology. But you, the original star reader, you, the original master astrologer that made them masters. And they didn't deserve to be in the first place criminals so John Adams and Thomas Jefferson we made them plenis potentiary that means potential government officials not yet but having the potential to be plenis potentiary or like how you say plea or pleiadian Hmm, we ain't gonna get into that. We're gonna stay on the national side, but that's where it comes from. Plea, Pleiadian, because they came here to cop a plea in order to have a home and somewhere to stay. Anyway, so made them plenis potentiary. This is why the longest, and why we sitting here 
being Aborigine, arguing about different treaties and what the treaty we going to bring up and what nation we going to form when Noble Drew Ali already brought us our flag, our free national name, our treaty, the mandate, and everything that we need. We just had to pick it up and go. Ain't that something? But we all arguing with each other, right? Ain't that some shit? Got all the answers, but arguing about the deception. Ain't that something? And a nigga will be dead wrong and swear they right, and it's okay. Because we all here for a learning process anyway. Everything is going to happen on divine time. I'm just doing my job and bringing clarity to the table and without dissing nobody. So everybody can one day they're going to see. Until then, we're going to be at war with each other. Isn't that the case right now? Are we arguing with each other? Aren't we at each other's necks? If we really had this truth and the divine truth, we'd be shaking each other's hand, building businesses, building schools, building institutions, and getting out the way of the colonizer and decolonizing our own minds and being ourselves again. And we don't need their paper for that. Ain't no reparation that you can give me from gold and silver. Give me my gold and silver. The gold and silver will enrich me and I'll learn how to do everything again all on my own, nigga. Don't need your fake stinking ass paper to do nothing. But that's the last thing they're going to get niggas with a black check, okay? Here we got a black check for your black ass. Don't you want a black check? Don't you want to be, don't you want to stop being yourself all over again? And be this black thing that doesn't exist. Come get this black check, niggers. That's how they feel. And that's how they think. And that's how they going to feel and think forever. Because it's your land. If it wasn't your land. Then why would, when they take a nigga to jail. Why they don't send him to modern day Africa? Why that nigga stay right here in the jail cell? You tell me that. If your ass is so from Africa. Why a Chinese man get locked up in jail and they hurry up and call his Chinese predecessors and say, hey, we got a Chinaman here. Why they don't call the so-called black, where is the black nation to call a black nigga to say, hey, we got a nigga in here today. You want to come get him? When we got all the laws and the treaties that we need because the Moroccan treaty is the longest unbroken treaty of your so-called Indian or indigenous people on the land and niggas keep running from it. How about that? Oh, that Moorish stuff ain't real. You Moors and this Moors that and this Moors that. The more you keep, the more you keep damning it, the more your ass stay in hell and the more we rise. You still don't get it. But you're going to keep arguing about it and your arguments is eventually going to lead you to the truth because the truth shall set you free. And in your arguments, you're going to find the answer one day. But it ain't going to be today because your mindset is still stuck in a three dimensional paradigm. So continue to argue. Because your Indian is the new black. Your American Indian is the new black. And you want to call yourself something but don't know what to say is the new black. A stateless person. A mindless person. Somebody who lost their mind. On their own land. At that. Ain't that something? So we gave them everything. We gave you everything. Just to be the noble that you are. But it was stolen from you. It was taken from you. It was stolen from you. It was taken from you. Stolen. Hypothecated. Robbed. This is why Yahshua, so-called Jesus, going to come like a thief in the night. Because everything was taken from you. So he got to come in a more strategic and discreet way to give it all back to you. A.K.A. your inheritance. The inheritance is divine first before it becomes earthly. It's always heavenly before it becomes earthly. That's why a lot of my mores are lost because they want everything earthly 
And they want to try to take that to the heavens and it's impossible. Unless you let everything go here and come back to the heavens, okay? So any Moors or any Aboriginal indigenous people that are not honoring the Most High and the ancestors with that, they are totally in loss. So-called God and the disciples. So-called Jesus and the 12 disciples to make the one 13. 13, 13. You. Why I keep saying you? Why you keep saying you? Where that word even come from? You. You. Well, they gave us this Anglo-Saxon, right? Well, pardon me. We gave ourselves Anglo-Saxon because that really means axe and rod. Who are the people with the axes and the rods? The Aboriginal indigenous people. Oh, so English is really just a melting pot of our different languages that we gave to the modern European, not that the modern European gave it to us. Even English came from us. So, you have all these words in the English word, right? And these words have become spells, fighting words, right? Axe and rock, fighting words. Arrows and axes. Arrows and axes, English. Arrows and axes, English. That we gave to them, that they gave back to us distorted. Right? That's why they call English spells, because that's literally what it is. It's axes and arrows. Axes and arrows. Now you can turn that war into peace if you do like me and use English for upliftment. Now you break the spell of English. But it started with the Moors first too. All here. All us. Yep. A, B, C, one, two, three, mathematics, science, and everything that you could think of. All right. So the 13. Why do I say you? And, and why do I keep saying you with such conviction and passion? Because it's you. It's all you. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Break? Come on. You're not explaining nothing. What do you mean? No, you don't get it. You. English in English is you. Right? And even in English is Jew. Because you, the real Jew. Because once you take the J, because there was no J, it was always Y. It was always a Y. It was always a Y sound. You take that J off and you get the U. You, the real Jew. How you know that? Because your bloodline is from the king of the Jews, your so-called Jesus, which is Yahshua. What no damn Christian. Christian means Cretan. And Cretan means Monster and beast and ignorant one. Ain't that what they made you? They made you as a slave, a Christian. But you was always you. I mean, you was always you. I mean, you was always Jew. You're the real Jew. I know we all heard that before, but we never heard that it was you. That is you, literally. So the nation of Islam couldn't give you, give it to you like I'm giving it to you, but I'm going to give it to you, baby. Because we, this is the nation of Islam, is North America. A what is Islam? Islam is peace. It ain't got nothing to do with your dogma system and your so-called Arab. And your so-called Palestine stuff and all that stuff. The whole reason it's a war with Palestine. Palestines. The pale ones, not us. 
We the real Palestine. Over here. And the real Jerusalem, Jerusalem, is right here too. They split it up over there. That's why they at war. Over there. Over there. Over there. Because you can't do that over here. Ancestors only allow a certain amount of activity to happen over here. You can only go do that over there. You want to be at war with Jerusalem and Palestine? You go do that over here. Because Palestine and Jerusalem is where you stand in. That's why they're getting niggas to push their attention. Oh, free Palestine. Oh, Pal And niggas are sympathizing with it as they should. But they don't realize that it's talking about them here at America suffering and bleeding. Our children right here suffering and bleeding and dying off. Why you ain't saying free America, your land? But you want the Palestine over there. And you want Egypt over there. And you want Jerusalem over there. And you want over there and over there and over there and over there when it's over here and over here, over here, over here, over there, over there, over here, over here. The war ain't going to stop until you realize who you really are. The whole reason that our brothers and sisters suffering over there and the children is dying is because you don't know who you are right here. And they make it so comfortable for you right here so that your mind power won't change what's going on on earth because it's all a mind game. Government is all about your mind. Governmental, mental, governmental, governmental, your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. Long as they got your mind trapped. They can lock you up in jail, call you an African, but won't send you to Africa. Your mind lost. Long as your mind not governed, they can tell you that you're some black color and you a black shirt and you don't look nothing like that. Long as your mind is gone, you see? But they need your mind and needed your mind because you're the original master builder in order to build their new America called Union State Society or United States. They still need you no matter what. They still need your mind. They need you to mind their mind. See how everything in the mind, even silver and gold is in a mind. That's why they want to harvest your brain after we die off in your organs because all kind of gold and silver and riches and stuff in there that you don't even know about that you're walking around with right now. That's why you plain rich. Noble Draw Ali say you just plain rich and you don't even know it. You're walking around with all this shit inside of you, literally. The minerals of the earth and don't even know it. But they need you. They need you to believe in them. Not yourself. Because ain't nothing wrong with belief as long as you take it to a higher plateau. They got you to stay in believe and to believe their world and create their world. And one day we woke up and look, their world on top of our world and literally our ancestors in their grave sites where they have court buildings and hospitals. That's why these places are haunted and cursed. Because there's ancestors up under there. And they not leaving until this shit is over with. We not leaving until this shit is done. And Yahshua said it ain't going nowhere till it's finished. So we're going to ride even till the wheels fall off. Because they ain't going to fall even if the wheels fall off. So we got to go harder than they going. Because they ain't going to fall off until they stare deaf in the faith in, the, in its face. They haven't met that yet. They haven't, they haven't stared death in the face yet. They've been colonizers for years. They've been living comfortable for years. They haven't faced that yet. But they won't stop until they do. Because their whole earthly salvation depends upon us, the dark-skinned people of America. The 13 beings that don't know that they're the 13 ones. They're scared of themselves, terrified of themselves, fearful of themselves, fearful of their symbols and their knowledge and their masonry, fearful of their courage 
in their own breath. Fearful. When the whole time, the colonizer is the one who fears you being yourself, all of yourself, and being the great I am that you really are. They don't want you to unlock your Ezekiel's will, your great zodiac, Zodiacus, your great mother. They don't want you to open your mind, open your mind, open your mind to that circle, the real church within you. That's why they even gave you the horoscope and say, oh, the horoscope ain't nothing. Look how it just reads the same every day. They give you the readings when the readings is in you and the stars. How are you going to give me the readings when they different every day and night? So they gave you the Bible. Stay away from it. They gave you the horoscope. Stay away from it. They gave you. We gave them the U.S. banner. And then they told you stay away from that. Don't it? Because that's American. When really. No, 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 no. It's hybrid European-ish. It started off as Moorish. And we gave it to you. The hybrid European. Because the white part represents the whiteness. The purity. Meaning that we made them free. Let me break this down before I get out of here. We made them free. We made them white. They were never white. We were white. We were the white man that made them a white man, a free man. That's all that means. We were already the free ones to make them free. Free slaves, but yet free. Then the red stripes, the red stripes don't represent what they say. They're ne they'll never tell you that the red stripes represent Irish, Dutch, Englishmen, and then the blue and the white and the canton in the square, the circle in the square, because all those stars, those 50 stars is really a circle, and it makes a church. And those 50 stars didn't represent 50 states, it literally represented the 50 year renewal of the 50 star collective of the serious constellation. Literally, that's why we say under God, the star spangled, star spangled banner, star spangled banner for a reason, because it's cosmic, it's godly, it's heavenly. So we seen this red, white, and blue, because that's literally the colors of Sirius. It flashes red, white, and blue. It's nothing pale skin about it in origin. It's all about us and our origin that we gave to them as a symbology of a glory or of the liberty or of the glory of heaven. Go look it up. They'll at least tell you that, that it represents the glory of heaven. What is that? Sirius. Or what is serious? The whole Christ being. Literally, Christ being Christ. Christ energy. Crest. Star crest energy. That's Islam. That's Islam. Ain't got nothing to do with your dogma system. That's realignment of the stars. Once again. All from the Bible first. The Torah was the first book. The Torah on the Torah, the Torah, territory, Torah on the territory, the land. Right? That's why they want to turn it. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible, not even a real word. Terra able, land able. I'm able to come back on the land again with the blood to the modern European. Oh, that's terrible. That's one of their words to make up for us. Right? Because terror means land. And the Torah was given on the terror from the heavens, the heavenly body with the heavenly mind, a more, a noble, a Jew. You still don't get it, huh? You still don't get how they brought these words from their heavenly divine mind to earth on paper. And it still exists today. The only treaty that's not broken is the Moroccan treaty. Why? 
Because the Moroccan Treaty is about all of us. It ain't about one plot of land. It's about the whole earth, Asiatic. More. That's why we say more-ish. Like they say Jew-ish. That's really just the name of man, ish. A more man, more-ish. Go figure. Saying more-ish is the same as saying more man or more woman. Get the fuck out of here. We got to get ourselves together and stop arguing about this shit. Put the pieces together and get the peace again. I'll go in all your Freemasonic temples and look them dead in their eyes. They know exactly who I am. It's over. It's been, it's been over. But it's over. It's been, 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 been over. What does Ben mean? Son. What is the 13th tribe at America? Ben Yamin. Ben Yishmael. Ben Yamin. Oh, wait a minute. Ben Yamin? Ain't that one of the, that's the tribe, right? Yeah, that's the 13th tribe here at America. So-called Indian shit. That these niggas arguing about all day and night when we really need to go get each other and get the ball rolling, nigga. Oh, oh, well, what does that breakdown even mean? Ben ya men. Well, don't you say amen? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Well, what is the A? Ain't the A the all seeing eye, the pyramid with the all seeing eye when you break it down? So the men, the men of the pyramid, amen. Stop lying to people and telling them every other stuff. Let's start breaking the codes and the spells that were put upon us and make them clear so everybody can see. Amen. Right? Pyramid men. Great seal men. Pyramid men. Great seal men. Right? Sea men. Right? Those who traveled the seven seas. We were, if we were already travelers traveling the seven seas and we already named them, how are you going to be a slave being taken from one part of your land to another? No, not possible. At least not the way they said it. Mm, nope. Not like that. Right? So we, in order to get the inheritance back, we have to break the spells and the curses on our family generations. This is why you were supposed to write your name in that Bible in red, because one day you would come into the inheritance of the bloodline of that information and not the allegorical story. You will start remembering the stories as you, not just something you're reading. You will become the young man in the never ending story and create your story all over again from reading your story and be the great I am that you are. That you are. That you are. So Ben Yamin, the tribe, the real tribe, the 13th tribe, right? At America, with Yudah, right? The 12 and the 13th, 12 and the 13th, mother and father, mother and father, mother and father, mother and father, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13. But mama is all of them. So mama is 12 and 13. Right, But my father's house is 12 mansions And the mama sits in the middle This is serious, literally serious The mama, that's why we say Big G Mama Because she in the middle, she's the one She's the one The big mama, 13 But my father is 12, he got the mansions He got the, he got the, the Aries, the Taurus, the Gemini, the Oh, you know that's what your Bible was talking about? Our Moorish culture? What you call a horoscope or a zodiac? That's our stuff. And zodiac means the divine mother all over again. That's our shit. Give me my shit back. All of it. In right order this time. Because my father has many mansions. And we glorify him within that house. That's why we gave the modern day Freemason... Only three degrees of that. 
We only gave him three houses from our father's mansion, but we could activate all 12 and become the 13th. That's why they hate us. And everybody that's us don't look like us, like K-Dot said. So here we are in the great melting pot once again in order to see who's really about the pyramid. Because it's all connected. Every door to this knowledge is connected. Every secret wisdom is connected to the sacredness of where it began in the first place in your heart. With your love that you lost. Amore. Amore. The Moors that lost their love and don't want to be Moors no more. Ain't that something? And until you be that again all the way, you're going to be on YouTube arguing with each other. It's just what it is. YouTube. Jewtube. 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 Why? Because it was going to be a bunch of us niggas talking this truth on this Jewtube. A nigga over there talking the truth. Him over here. Him over here. Him over here. Him over there. The problem is we arguing with each other when we all got a piece of every part of ourselves and everybody is right, not wrong. What if we bigged each other up and was like, man, you right, brother Rod. You right, brother Taj. You right, brother, brother. You right. We all right, not wrong. We already all right, not wrong. You see what if we did that? But no, we got the YouTube. So I got to come and meet y'all here on the YouTube. 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 Who is the most present on social media and the YouTube, the YouTube? Dark skinned people. Why? Because it was created for us to take the attention off the land and on their little fake company internet stuff on the land all over again doing something that they built all over again we only on here reaching for you we extending the hand out to you saying come on baby all right come on we trying to we we trying to reach for you you see it got your attention online and not in line on your land they got your attention online, but not in line on your land, in the line to receive, literally in line to receive your inheritance. They got you online, not in line. So I had to come online to try to get you back in line. It don't matter if somebody stole your place in line, go to the back of the line and get in line. But everybody online. Everybody want to take a picture of their booty hole and put it online. Look at my look at my booty hole online. Not my head, not my face, not who I am, not my godhead. Look at my asshole online. Literally showing your ass online. All the women online showing their ass, grandmas showing their ass, shaking for no reason, not the good reasons, all the wrong ones. But you're supposed to be in line getting yourself together with all with all your stuff. It's your stuff. No matter which way you look, it's your stuff. No matter what bio, no matter this one, where you go, it's your stuff. So if you disrespect it, you disrespect your stuff. <laughs> they knew this. They knew that one day we would be arguing about this Bible that's all about our creation. They knew. They knew. That's why they had to build these platforms. You think you you think YouTube just came out of nowhere? You think Twitter just came out of nowhere? You think TikTok came out of nowhere and literally TikTok is the clock of destiny or letting you know, hey, the time is running out. This is the social media to let you know that the time is running out. TikTok. Everybody on there showing their ass. Like I said, tick, tock. The more you show your ass, that clock, tick, tock. Ain't no more time for that shit. Who is TikTok owned by? China. China counting. They can't wait to get over here 
and get their piece of the inheritance. Right? The job is to keep you informed and keep you uplifted. But their plan is to keep you a slave and keep you down until you become a super slave, a digital slave. Right? It's starting real soft. It starts you real soft with software. Software online. America online. Didn't it start like that? America online? They can't have America because it's ours. So they went and created America Online, www.worldwide. Dot, dot, America Worldwide, but we worldwide. We America Worldwide. We the Moorish Divine and National Movement, worldwide. We the rulers of the world, worldwide. We the landlords of the world, worldwide. So they said, hey, we can't have that. So we just gonna create America Online. Everything that they did is strategic with words because the Most High and the ancestors would have been destroyed them. They're strategic with words so they don't say the wrong thing. This is why we got to make sure in our life we don't say the wrong thing so we don't invo invite the wrong shit in our life because they're very careful about what they say. This how they stayed in rulership just by words. Axes and arrows and swords. Words. They're very careful about what they do and say, especially in private behind closed doors. They're ruling you. They want to be your rulers from learning how to be a ruler from the original ruler, you in the first place. They don't like their mother and father. They hate their mother and father. Hate their mother and father. The mothers and fathers of civilization who civilized them in the first place. But they claim that they came over here and civilized us. He's a goddamn lie. When we had mathematics and science and flying saucers and loincloth before you even had pants on. Oh, they're uncivilized. They're half naked. Nigga is hot out here, nigga. What nothing uncivilized about us never has been. It was always them, always them, always them, always. So this was the truth and the divine truth about the 13 colonies, the 13, the number 13, and how they use the 13 behind closed doors. They tell you to fear it. Meanwhile, they worship it. Just as you should be, because you should be worshiping yourself. You should be worshiping your God self. This is why Christianity, Judaism, and Islam is became dogma systems. Because if it's not teaching you to worship yourself and the real God inside of you, and that you and God, the so-called God, is one, then it's nothing. It's just regular Islam. It's just regular Christianity. It's just regular Judaism. When all those things are one, one nation under God, one nation under God, the real religion, true religion, realignment with the stars to remember who you are, Jew, Jew, Jewel, a Jewel resembles a shining star, does it not? Your Jewish self, Jewish, you, your Moorish, Moorish self that you keep wanting to run away from. Oh, keep running. Because I'm going to be in government, baby. I'm going to take my seat. We all going to take our seats. The ones that know because it's ordained to happen. It's going to happen. It must happen. And it has to happen. In order to make America great again. Because America is rich. Because you're rich. The land is rich because you're rich. Wherever you landed is your land. Because you landed. From motherships. You don't hear me though. You don't hear me though. I don't think you hear me though. Because you landed. You landed. Why do you think they call it land? Because you landed. You planted. You were planted. You were planted. 
You were landed, 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 land, land, land. Meaning some, a nigga was flying around somewhere before this. We was flying in the sky, literally. Your Bibles and all this shit talk about this shit. You think it's just allegory, but it's for real. It's a story, but it's a true story. It's a story, but it's a true story. It's a story, but it's a true story. Because he was flying around the heavens first. Ain't that how the story go? And then you fell. We we are literally the fallen angels. Just to be true, just to be real with you. We are the hard-headed ones that went against God like we're going against God today, being hard-necked and stiff-necked. Fallen angels. Ain't that something? Yo, monkey has the fallen angel. Devils. <laughs> Goddamn devils. That are really upright men and women. Ain't that something? You got to get back to heaven, baby. You got to get back to heavens. The heavens. You got to start putting respect back on God's name from whatever concept you bringing it from. I suggest you would do that in a hurry. And because the real God... That you don't like is going to bring all kind of earthquakes and hurricanes and it's bound to happen. Not the little itty bitty ones that we've been experiencing, but the whole shebang boing. It's bound to happen and yet to come. Just because you ain't seen it yet don't mean it's going to happen. So they got all of us niggas, literally a tribe that's called niggas. Together, collectively, we was all niggas. N-E-G-U-S. And then from the tribes at America, we all agreed to become Moors. So all you niggas fighting amongst each other today, you need to realize that we came under one nation, the Moroccan Empire. Whether you wanted to be Indian, indigenous, aboriginal, so-called black, because all them words existed back then like they do today. And niggas were saying they black then, like they're saying they black today. Then you had other people that were saying, no, we're Moorish. And we know we're Moorish. And matter of fact, we're the niggas in government in, right here in the 1700s. We the niggas that run government and built your constitutions. Same arguments we had then, same arguments we having today until we get it together. Everybody that wanted to be called Indian, cool. You got to come up under the Moroccan Empire if you want to be free. This is known by the hybrid European Freemason, but not the regular dark-skinned Mason. He don't really know nothing. He just know the Indian stuff. And stuff and stuff. And the Blue Lodge and the Red Lodge and the White Lodge. All serious colors. But they didn't give them all the degrees. The Moors have the 360 degrees inherent within their body, the crystal in their mind. Everybody that went to the Masonic temples, hey, no shame on you. Matter of fact, peace and love to you too. But the real truth is the real temple is inside and all the jewels is in there. I got love for the Blue Lodge. I got love for the Red Lodge. I got love for the White Lodge. I got love for the Lodge. Because I am the Lodge Mint from where all that knowledge and wisdom came from in the first place. In order for you to break it down and hustle it and distribute it and sell it to this nigga over here and give him his apron and, and then you shake his hand with our sacred handshakes. and Come on, man. It's a game, bro. Talk about where it really came from. Why you don't want to just put the respect on your Moabite, Canaanite, Cushite, Hittite, Amorite, etc., etc., brethren? Why? You want to keep being in denial and you keep wanting to say, I, well, I respect Noble Drew Ali, but I just don't want to talk about nothing that he brought and everything that he did. Nigga, that's disrespect. Because what he brought will literally free you. It's the truth. This was the Jesus, the Yahshua of our time that brought us the truth that would set us free. He went through all they halls. 
He went through all their clubs and came out with everything, including what he already had inside. He just put it all together and gave it to you for free. Ain't that something? They locked it down and called it Freemasonry when it came from us in the first place. He took it out the vault, came back and, and just gave it to you. The real Masons that need to be free. The real mother's sons that need to be free on their own land. Why y'all don't talk about him? Why you just want to mention him and then move to another subject and talk about how we could be free when we already know how to be free? Tired of you niggas arguing when it's already here. This is why Noble Juali said, hey, when I'm dead and gone and 100 or 50 years or 100 years from now, I want the elders to sit in the back seat and I want the youngsters to take control of the wheel because I'm going to put my spirit in them and they're going to know exactly what to say and exactly what to do. But the elders being so stubborn, they want to take control of the wheel. They don't want to sit in the back seat. They want to tell the ones that just came from the universe, the ancestors returned with the blood. Hey, you're not who you say you are. Huh? When we came to save you, not just us. It's about all of us, not just me. Huh? Yeah, you're not who you say you are. And that more stuff don't work. And that more stuff ain't shit. And more's ain't shit. And more's ain't that. Oh, no, nah, bro. Do you, do you notice you're saying your mother and father ain't shit? That's what you're saying. This is why we continue to suffer. This is why we continue to be in captivity. Because we continue to disrespect the ancestors. A.K.A. Mothers and fathers of civilization. Meanwhile, we'd be like, no, I praise the Orishas and Elegba and all of them. And Ogun and Oshun. I love the ancestors, but you disrespect them though. Because Ogun and Oshun and Elegba and all of them, it was already America, Arica. It didn't come from over there. Why are you practicing something so strong that's so prevalent here at America from over there then you disrespect over here and over there, but still use what you think came from over there. And it all started right here in the first place. Come on, man. We got to make ourselves make sense. Stop making it make sense because it ain't shit. Why don't you make yourself make sense? Until we collect the tribes and connect them to get back to the nation or the womb or the mother, then we're just talking shit. We ain't talking nothing. Well, you got to get this tribe over here and that tribe and that exactly to get them back to the nation, the mama, the empire, the empress, the impress. Why do you think they call it an impress? Because it's an impression that lives in you. It's a majesty that awakens within you. You're the real empress and emperor on the land, but you don't want to be empowered. You don't want your own story. You want his story. You don't want clarity. You want arguments and drama and starting shit and how Indian you are. Meanwhile, us Moors over here, we're going to keep kicking your ass with the most high God love. But you don't like that. You, you think that's not from the ancestors. You think that the, the ancestors and the Bible and the, and the Quran, you think it's separate. When your mind is not separate, then the ancestors not separate. Everything that came from them not separate. Your brain has the left side and the right side, contemplation and concentration. If you didn't have both of them, you wouldn't be living. So you might want to start putting the puzzle together. And use your full brain and not just your left side or just your right side. Or just being divine but not natural or national. Okay? 
Because the greatest nation that we come from is Big Mama. How are you going to talk about Big Mama but not talk about her nation, the Earth Nation in the first place, which is our nation, and that's what you should be claiming if you're sovereign. Okay? Meanwhile, my niggas arguing over here, the niggas that I love are arguing about who we are but not what we called ourselves or who we should call ourselves and it's all based on treaty. Everything that you think is Indian is Moorish and it's in right order. But you keep denying the ancestry and you keep suffering. Hey, let's go. We, we trying to get Malachi Z. York out of jail. We want to get Abu, Abu uh, Jamal out of jail. We want to, uh, uh, all of them. Well, then let's go do it. Why are we talking? Why are we sitting around talking? Let's go do it. Well, now nah, we got to raise funds and stuff. No. How, how are y'all doing the knowledge about the fiat currency? Know what it is. And then think that you got to go give this to the colonizer in order to free one of ours. It's something that they made. What makes you think that they Disney dollar is going to get him out after all them years? Come on, man. You got to use your brain. You got to use all of it, the left and the right side and the frontal and the back lobe. We ain't going to get nobody out with no funds. They going to make fun of that. No, we got to get Malachi Z York, Z York out because he want to get out. We know how to get him out. Why y'all over there arguing? Do he want to get out? That's the question. We know how to go get Rashad Jamal. Do he want to get out? Nigga, we'll go get Jesus if he locked down because we know how to do it. That's who all them niggas are. They just so-called Jesus with a different face. That sacrificed their life to help tell us some truth. That's it. So let's go get Jesus and them out of jail. Let's go get Jesus and them out of prison. Because that's what they got up in there. Different versions of him. That all make the one. We all different specials or spectacles of him. That all make the one. So let's go get them niggas then. Oh nah. Y'all don't even respect Taj then. Because if you're really putting respect on Taj's name, then you would already know that all this information is already relevant. None of it went nowhere. It ain't died. It ain't expired. It's still here. Long as we still here in full life, it's still here. It still works. If you work, then it works. If you work, it works. If you don't work, it don't work. If you're talking about the work and disrespecting the work, it really don't work. That's where we at right now. So let's go get them. We got the 13 power. We gave them the 13 colonies in the first place. So that means that we the original power on the land. So let's go use our power then and let's go get these niggas that we sitting here arguing about that we can't get with lawyers and attorneys and shit that don't even belong to our nation. Matter of fact, niggas that's arguing about that shit, they're not even claiming to have a nation in the first place. So you can't get nobody. How you going to go get somebody you ain't got a womb? You don't have a mother. You got to have a mother. You got to have a mother with her signal and her symbol to go get one of your people. And they got to belong to the mama too. Because they're your brother and sister. That's why they say brothers and sisters of nations. Because they have one mother and one father. And they're supposed to be helping each other. That's what the flag is all about. It's, it never was really called a flag in Moorish ancestry. It was always the signal. It was always the Batman signal. The signal. You know how they say signature? Or a sign of nature? A sign of nature? A sign of nature? This is the five-pointed star. The sign of nature. A signal or a sigil. It all represents the mother. 
So literally, what they telling you is, okay, you niggas want to say that you ain't got no nation and you're nationless, but you want to come get one of your people of your nation. But literally, a nation is a womb, a mother, a mother, a mother. So if you don't say that you have a mother, then you can't go get your brother and sister. Makes sense. Because the mother made the brother. Makes sense. So you might want to start collecting your tribe to become the nation again. Because that's how you're going to enforce the mama. You can't enforce the mama with only a piece of your nation. No, you got to have the whole of your nation. You got to have the whole of your mama. Because we can't rise no higher than the mamas in our nation, the women in our nation. If they don't have the same truth that we have, we not rising. If they, if you getting them to agree on the deception rather than focus on what I'm talking about, what's really happening and what Taj is talking about and what Noble Drew Ali Ben gave to us, then you're misleading people. You're misleading people. You're misleading people. How and why? Because you're misled yourself. You might even you might not even do it on purpose or mean to do it. You might not even mean to say some things that you say that you don't know about, and that's okay. We here to forgive you because we all waiting to be free. And the more that you mislead, the more that we're not led right, and the more that we can't get right on our land. This is why we ain't we angry with when we get angry, we get angry with reason, not for no reason. It's like, nah, y'all going a little bit too far with this far fetched ass shit. You need to get back on the square, get back in the circle, get back in church and realize what's really going on again. Because the direction y'all going on, it ain't the yellow brick road. The direction y'all going to, it don't lead to Emerald City and it don't wake nothing up in my eye. It don't turn my all seeing eye on. It turns it off. The shit that y'all talking about. So please. And with my brother, man, Taj Tariq Bay, please come get what this is and start smoking what this is. Come smoke this rock, this Al Maroc, Morocco. Come find out what this rock over here is all about. Because it's your rock, America. Come, come get this rock and smoke it in your pipe. Because I'm here to free you. I'm here to liberate you. I'm here to give you the real salvation, baby. Not that small time shit. Not that small talk. I'm here to give you that large talk. That dive deep, that everlasting gospel, that old time religion. You keep disrespecting the old time realignment and you're going to fall again and fall apart. See how realignment gets you back in line and how I was talking about getting in line on the land again and not being online because the real America is in line at the land in America, not on America, online. It's on the land with your feet planted on the land, not online on this computer shit. Why you don't get on here like us and just and, 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 and post stupid shit and stuff that we could just laugh at? Why are you so serious? Because I come from serious. And if you want to go into an everlasting abyss, I'm here for that. I'm here for those who want to stay on the high. And if you want to stay on the low, you got that option too. We came back to give you everything so you can make a choice. Everybody got a choice. Everybody made a choice and everybody has a choice. You want to stay on the high end or the low end, it's, your, it's up to you. But we here now where there's no more excuses to be made. And Noble Drew Ali's spirit is in all of us now. And you can't run or hide from none of it no more. Meanwhile, the modern hybrid European Freemason behind closed doors, he's sitting in his office with a large picture of Noble Drew Ali saying, yep, we still got these niggas. They still don't love you. They still hate the fuck out of you. They don't have no love for you. 
We still got them to a certain degree. It ain't over all the way. It ain't over to the fat lady sings or mama, big mama. That's what that means. The big mama. They call it fat because it's literally the resin. The resin of the sun that makes our skin dark. That's the real fat lady singing is big mama being the second coming or the second son again because the first son was destroyed, killed and mantled. So now big mama, the big mama son got to come now. She already gave us the son that we have in earth. Now the son that they lied to you and told you was 93 million miles away. That was the only son, which is not the only one. It's really three of them. So now the, nine, the one that's 93 million miles away is getting closer. Because you didn't like that first son. You didn't like Jesus. You don't like justice. You don't like Yahshua. So Big Mama said, okay, here I come. I'm on the way. The eighth wonder is on the way. Big Mama. Because the circle seven, that's a wonder in itself. Then you got a ninth wonder, a seventh wonder, an eighth wonder, and a ninth wonder. Hmm. Ain't that three? That's three different wonders. That's three different sons. Stevie, wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I wonder why Stevie Wonder talk about the Moors in his song, Misrepresented People. I wonder why Stevie Wonder, who's so-called blind, but can see the truth and says in his song, you came upon these shores 700 years educated by the Moors. Stevie Wonder. How can Stevie Wonder, who's supposed to be blind, see this truth that's been locked down in a vault for so long? And here come our ass talking about some Indian shit and running around in circles. Meanwhile, Stevie Wonder got the answer right there song called misrepresented people might want to start being yourself might want to start putting things in the right context might want to find out why we even called ourselves moors in the first place and the reason why we collected and came together is because we was at war with our child the european son and daughter need to figure it out need to figure out why we was five tribes that became the six tribes that was the warship known as the Iroquois or Anaanasi Nation, the tribes that, since y'all want to talk about tribes so much on the land, how about the tribes that became one nation? That was the first nation. That was the first mama on the land to stop these colonizers from corrupting our minds. They became a nation, and guess what they all agreed to, to call themselves? Moors. Mohawk, Mohawk, Mohawk. What does hawk mean? Because it ain't just the, the hawk in the sky that flies. It ain't just that, right? Mohawk. What, what we gonna call ourselves? Because we got a tribe up. And these niggas is our enemy. And we got the same common enemy. What we going what we going to call ourselves cuz that's going to be the staple for our children in the future. Let's get together and base it on our ancestry here at Lemuri, Lemuria, Mu, and since we added on one more tribe that made a six pointed star, let's call ourselves the Moors. Ain't that what they with the with the European we taught them to say before that before they came over here? Let's call ourselves the Moors because we won more than all of the tribes. That's why all the tribes came up under us after we did that. And we all collectively respected and agreed with each other to get the colonizer off the land. To be more, to be more, to be more. We needed more. We needed more power. We needed more guidance. We needed more knowledge. We needed more wisdom. We needed more weapons. We needed more people. We needed more of everything. So we just became Moors. Do we already are? 
We all agreed under that umbrella, whether you like it or not. I know it's all about the tribes, which are, but the tribes came from one and the tribes shall become one again. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. That's tribes. The tribal names, the tribal names come from the mama. The mama is the one who decides who gets the rightful bloodline. It's the mama. So you get the mama's name, but the mama is the nation and the mama give the name to the tribe. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What you really want to do out here? You want to still be lost? You want to be the lost tribe or the found tribe? You want to be the lost tribe or the found tribe of Shabazz? You got to make up your mind. Because in order to be the found tribe, you got to respect the mama again. You got to put the mama's heart back. And the heart of America is her people, her sons and daughters. Her dark copper tone beings in right moral and right majesty. Yeah, put the heart back in all of us. That's why it's everybody's responsibility to put your own heart back. The real saving yourself, the real salvation is love. You got to put your own heart back. You got to get your own love again. Because Jesus, Yahshua, was already sacrificed to give you that and you threw it away. Still throwing it away today, ain't that something? So no, you have to get the love again first on your own, on your own, on your own, or else you ain't going to own nothing. And it ain't going nowhere. I don't care if you pass away. I don't care if you never heard from again. You still got this work to do. Whether it's in this realm or a realm that we can't see. It's still work. It's still work. It's still 13 activation. Serious star constellation activation and realignment. True religion. Old time religion. Because them three wise men that came to Jesus, they witnessed him as the shining one under the Sirius star constellation with the three different personalities of gold, silver, and frank and myrrh. All the rich elements of man and God as one. This is your real Jesus and you got to be the real Jesus so you can break the spell on Jesus and be Yahshua. Yeah, sure. So before I get out of here, and I know I didn't finish it, but Ben Yamin, right? That's the 13th tribe. That's how it, we, we, you notice I reiterate things like Taj because I know you don't get it yet. I know you don't get it yet. But the more I keep saying this, your alarm clock is going. Don't your alarm clock sound like how America is supposed to sound? Because it ain't went off yet. You ain't learned how to yet. You got to learn how to. America. Right. So you can remember. Remember. Remember who you are. So Ben Yamin. Right. What does Ben mean? Ben means son. Oh, shit. Ben, Ben, the son or the son of. And then when you flip Ben, you get Neb like Nebuchadnezzar. Anyway, Ben, Ben, the son, son or the son of. What does Yah mean in Hebrew? Yah. Yah literally means I am or what you call God it is Yah. So you got the son of God, I am, the son of the great I am. And what does mean mean? Like I mean or I mean or am, amen, 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 me, literally man. Because when you say Ben Yishmael, you're saying the son of God in man. 
That's the 13th tribe. That's the tribe of the Americas, the Amaru's here on Earth. And your Bible tell you all about this. So the more you keep throwing that away, Noble Joe Ali said, don't throw it away. Noble Joe Ali said, keep that Bible because I'm going to use it to condemn them. How you talking about Noble Joe Ali and all this tribal stuff and you don't know that and not on that? How are we, how are we not on that as a collective? Because we're still arguing with each other. We're still mad at each other. We still hate each other. Over some petty bullshit. Don't don't nobody really want to be free. If you really wanted to be free, you would say, hey, wait a minute. A lot of these niggas keep saying Noble Drawley, but not diving deep into what he did and what he did for the now, for the future, for the present, and evermore to be. For you to be free. But they talking about everything else. Meanwhile, as soon as Taj get back on the line, all right, y'all ready? You got to peep the signs. Ain't nobody going to tell you not to go over here. Don't listen to this person. That's not our job. You go listen and do whatever you want to do. It's called free will. You do whatever the hell you want to do. Just know at the end of the day, when everything is revealed and exposed, it's going to come back home to what I'm talking about in this crack pipe, this rock, this rock pipe over here. Where you're supposed to be on the rock, Al Maroc, not smoking rock. But anyway, Ben Yamin, the son of God in man at America. This is why we have Benjamin Banneker, Ben Yamin, Ben Yamin, because when you take the J off, once again, it's Yah. It ain't Ja, it's Yah. Ben Yamin. Banneker, who designed the White House, architected it, blueprinted it, and everything else that you see around the White House, because it was called the Casablanca. Ain't the Casablanca the White House? Don't Casablanca sound like Spanish? Isn't Mexico in the lower Americas, not over far in Spain somewhere? Come on, man. And the longest treaty, when y'all want to talk about treaties, is the Moroccan Treaty. And the Moroccan Treaty was translated from Spanish to English, from Arabic. It was spoken, then it was written, then it was given. Three-step process. But it was translated from Spanish first. Why was it in Spanish? Because isn't all your L's, like I said before, and your La's, if isn't that El La, El La, Mother, Father, El La, El La, El La. Arabic and Hebrew use the same thing. El La, El La, El La, El La, La La, El La. It's all connected. The more you keep disconnecting it, the more you're not plugged in and you can't turn the light on. All connected through the language, the original tongues, Latin, Arabic, Hebrew, Sanskrit, Hikupten, Kameshin, all of them, all rich, all rich, all these tongues, all these languages are so rich. I wonder where they came from. Did the Sanskrit come from Hindustan? Nope. I wonder where they came from. Did the Arabic come from Saudi Arabia? Nope. I wonder where they came from. Did the Hebrew in them come from the Jerusalem over there? Nope. It came all from here in America because all the tribes was speaking different tongues. And they stole the different tongues, brought them on the east, and then brought them back on the west, and then told you it was something different. When meanwhile, didn't they tell you that the end? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, la, 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 la. Hi, la, 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 la. Hi, la, la, la. Doing all them different chants of what you call Allah and Christ and all this stuff. You just need to put it in the correct order. You need to put it in the right drawer so it fits. 
You keep trying to put it in the drawer with a bunch of stuff that don't fit and it can't close. Hi, ya, 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 ya. A la la la, illa la 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 la. Hi, ya, 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 ya. Where you think all that came from? Where you think all that came from? Where you think all that came from? What nobody took it from no Africa. They was taken from America. They was stolen from America. They was hijacked from America. They was begotten from America. You know how I know that? Because the Judah and the Gob and the tribes that you get from the so-called Africa over there, they on the shores. Hmm, I wonder why they sitting on the shore like the 13 colonies for the hybrid European that came over here. Because niggas were stolen from over here and they went and gave stuff that was stolen from over here over there. And you think it came from over there, but it's really from over here because the niggas were stolen. It ain't that the slave story is false. It's that it's backwards. They didn't take the nigga from over here and bring him over here in abundance. They took a nigga from abundance from over here and brought him over there to the other side. That's why you think stuff originated over there, but it didn't. And you can find all the origins over here at America, the rich land from all the rich people that came together. The tribes, the rich tribes, and the best top one is Ben Yah Men, son of man, of God in man. Ben Yah Men, you so great, you don't know how great you are, and you don't know how great you have to be from great ones who sacrificed. All of their life getting their head cut off, getting their nose cut off. So you can sit here and argue about petty shit. That's not why they died. That's not why they were sacrificed. They were sacrificed so your ass could sit here today and be on a daily grind of getting your bloodline birthright back. Not just some of the time. You think they bled so? So you can just be a nothing? They are angry. They are furious. They are overpoweredly furious. They have nothing to do with your U.S.3D life and they can care less. It's about to be destroyed. And everything that came with it. And if you attach to it, you getting destroyed too. Ancestors been down too long, been given too many chances, been given too much time to let your alarm clock go off to say, all right, finally, you got it. They are furious. And you know what furious get? It gets hot. So they said, bring this big G mama son. Come on. Everybody that's buried in the land, all the ancestors, all their blood. Is hot. And it's saying bring on the hottest one. Because we hot. We mad as hell. That y'all not getting it right. And loving each other. And being the land again. So bring on Big G Mama. It's time. No more mercy. No more time left. No more waiting on you to get it right. No more I'll get it right next year. I'll be on my dean and stuff next year. Nope. Too late. Bring on Big G Mama and burn it all up. Burn it up so bad, they suntan lotion ain't going to work no more. Burn it up so bad, it burn off every building and every cover and every covenant that you didn't keep. Burn it off so bad, it burn off... Your Freemasonic Fez that's really a Moorish Fez with a Moorish name that you stole in the first place that you were given, but you stole it. You was given it for free, but you stole it. 
So burn off that fez and burn off your temple. Because your, your Freemasonic temple in there, it ain't no real temple. So burn it all off with the big G. The big G. Don't you use our stuff with the big G and the angles and you call it your symbol when the Masonic symbol is really the mother's sons, us, me? So I take my symbol back and I burn your building down and that's fair because it's on my land. But I'm not going to burn my symbol. I'm going to burn your building and take my symbol and be the giant that I am again. Because that big G represent G mama, if you didn't know. It ain't theirs. It's ours. It's yours. It ain't theirs. So we won't stop until it's all burnt off and given unto hell and a lake of fire. Because our people been held back for too long. Too long. Too long. And this shit already been over with a hundred years ago. Over a hundred years ago in 1913 by a man named Noble Drew Ali that brought all the tribes together and made them a nation. And now they want to break apart again and not be a nation and just wander in the wilderness like a lost child. He sacrificed everything he had and everything he was and everything he learned and everything he did to give us this, to make the tribes one nation again. And here niggas are all over again, disrespecting him, spitting on him, telling him F you to his face and you ain't shit. And then all of it went to hell. And now we arguing about who's the real tribe and who's not all over again. They show you this whole story in your Western movies. You ain't never seen a movie. And my auntie, she loved watching Western movies and cowboy movies. So she would know too. But a lot of the Clint Eastwood and all these movies and all these Western movies, a lot of them was saying, Shalom Aleikum. Shalom. Salam. And they would ask the in, so-called Indian, hey, why? Hey, don't say that. Hey, shut up. Don't say that. Because he was the real Jew. But they sugarcoated it. Made you think some kind of Indian dude was this made up Native American so-called thing. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But you the real Jew. But it ain't got nothing to do with you. This mixed blood over here. That's the real. It's the real more over here. Him. We just going to put him on the screen and confuse all of y'all. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be niggas super dark. Dressed up as Indian and Cowboys. Because the original Cowboy was dark skinned too. We was at war with each other. We was at war with each other. For our own land. And here you got the modern hybrid European at war with us for our land. While we fighting each other. And they calling themselves Democrat and Republican. And all that means is that this party over here wants your land. This party over here wants your land and they working together. Meanwhile, we over here arguing about how we not the same. Meanwhile, they on the other side agreeing to be the same and taking us down left and right. You don't see, you don't see, you don't see, you don't see this picture. You don't see how we got to get it together like them, not what they're doing, but the same organization and structure and the family business that they put as priority before anything else. Hey, Uncle Johnny and them stole what's his name shoes. It don't matter. Long as we still got these niggers under slavement and mind control. Take Uncle Johnny and them shoes. He'll get it back later. We ain't worried about that right now. That's petty. We need to worry about how enslaved we need to keep these niggers into the day that we die. They know to keep that at the forefront no matter what happens. Niggas don't know what to do but argue and kill each other. Damn shame. So, I hope that we can get it back together again and we can get back on the square and get back in the circle and get back in church and praise Yahshua again and praise Allah or all of us, all, all of us, all of, all of, all, all of us, all of us, all of us. We need to praise us again. We need to praise each other again. All of us. All of us. Allah. 
Allah, Allah, Alabama, Alabama, Allah, Alabama, Ama, Allah be Ama. That's Alabama right there in your face. Oh, it sounds like an Arabic and a Hebraic word. Yeah, I know, because all the tribes were speaking different tongues and then it became these different languages. And then the hybrid European threw it back right in your face to laugh at you and say, he, he, ha, ha, you still don't get it. Alabama. Allah, Allah be Amma. Allah be mother. Allah is the mother, be the mother. The all in all is the mother. Alabama. Flow rider. Florida. Flow rider. Florida. Flow rider. The flow of nature. The flow of the universe. We ride it like a silver surfer. Flow rider. California. 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 Fat, Khalifat, Khalifat, Khalifat. It all started here. Tennessee, Tennessee, the Tennessee, Tennessee. Remember, number 10 in our culture is mother and father. Tennessee, Tennessee, the 10 I see, the one and the zero I see. The man and the woman I see, 10 I see. New York, New York, New York, your, your means ancient, your means olden, your means antiquity, ancestors, your, and you put the K on it. Remember, the K is the unknown. York, that's why they put the K on it. It was just New York, yours, your, yours. Yours, the new yours. We're going to keep banging y'all on his head until y'all get back to the nation, until y'all get back inside of that. You come out of this one, come out of her and get back to the real one. We're just going to keep banging your head because that's what y'all want. You want tribalism over mothership and it'll never happen. So we'll see you next time. On this week's episode of the Twilight Zone, the Outer Limits, monsters, tales from the dark side, tales from the crypt, and all of them mixed and rolled in one. Because that's my job, is to bring the melting pot back into the clearest concept of why it's even called the melting pot in the first place. The mixed blood of the original blood line nerves. Get back in line. Get back in line in your blood. Get offline and get back in line as much as possible. And if you're online, get online to get in line. Islam.